thing's massive. Huge, huge, huge. And as you've seen in the pictures before, I made this from scratch. Hundreds of tiny pieces of wood laser cut to perfection. It was the most intense thing I have ever built, hands down. It is awesome and has a fitting background. This is the story about the Minotaur. As you can see all over it are actually Greek letters. This is called the Scriptum Cube by NKD Puzzle. Got their card right there. Um, I've been wanting this for a very long time. They come in two different uh, varieties. They come with the pre-assembled, which essentially looks like this and it's gigantic. Or they come for a discounted price, but very difficult to put together. The kit version, which I find to be way more fun, um, but also incredibly tricky to do. It took me a, quite a while, um, probably a total of 20 hours maybe of actual construction time, sanding, everything. Um, you know, probably be good to put maybe polyurethane on here, but then I'd have to re-sand again and whatnot. Uh, it took a lot of time over the course of, I wanna say, mm, a week-ish. Not too bad, I spent quite a bit of time on it. Comes with a little stand too, which you have to, yep, you have to put together. Um, they do have a variety of other puzzles as well. Uh, so it's not just the Scriptum Cube, but this is the one I've had my eye on for a very long time. And like I said, it is massive. We're gonna do a quick, quick video of solving it. Uh, as far as I know, it is not too difficult of a puzzle to solve, but it is a lot of fun. Um, it's very interesting. And this is the type of puzzle box that I actually prefer to open anyways. So we're gonna do it. All right, so let's jump into this thing. All right, take it off of the stand. All right, now I built this, of course, so we're gonna see. I clearly know how it works because like I said, I built it from the scratch um, and it's an interesting puzzle it's about the Minotaur um, and I believe Daedalus is, is the name and yeah so we're gonna jump right in it's called Scriptum Cube as I mentioned before the goal is to open the box um, specifically through this opening I believe because um, I do know this clearly looks like it comes out on the bottom there's another one but that sealed in there. Um, this does turn. That's it. Let's see it does anything. Mm -hmm. okay. These guys move. Now there was a part on this that I had my wife do Part, she assisted me with it so that I did not see how to open the exact mechanism. I did the vast majority, but she helped me for certain on a few areas so that it didn't give away the puzzle itself so that I could complete this video and actually do it this way. So, as you can see, there's a bunch of Greek letters on it everywhere, a bunch of symbols, um, even what looks to be numbers in various locations, but mostly Greek letters symbols 
and they have these things that move like this. Now, with me building it myself, of course, with a lot of sanding, so there's definitely some parts that stick a little bit, but overall, um, they tend to work exactly as designed uh, based on the intended setup of it. So it is set up exactly per instructions, so it took a while. So we're gonna jump into the puzzle. Sides move, we know that. Maybe we put them all up. turns that still doesn't open or turn or give any give at all the neutral position. Okay, there we go. A couple more. Okay. Try the other way. Try down. Maybe like two down, one up. Two down, one even. Nope. Still turns. give in anything really like on the sides uh, kind of anything really other than down here this turns but I don't actually know if that has anything to do with the mechanism this thing is the solid piece that you want to take out obviously and inside you could store something or whatnot. Getting inside is the prize. Opening this box. There's these, but they don't push or anything. Oh, there's letters right here. Letters and symbols and numbers, potentially. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Right in there. Symbols, letters. Okay. Definitely the symbols match up to these guys. Uh, so. On these, how do you match the symbols up? Those are the Greek symbols like they have around the cube. So like that one is the five-sided and then what looks like an N or a U. Oh, they, of course, five-sided. Okay. There's an N or a U, I guess, depends on how you look at it. If you look at it right side up, it's an N. So is that one. And that's the five-sided. So maybe bring this down to the five-sided one. Okay. The next one that I see, actually, you know what, let's just do this. Let's put these all down except for the ones that we put away. Okay. So we got the N or the U. Let's do the same one. K triangle. Let's look for the K. There it is. Triangle is a neutral position, so that's done. But we have to know what's on K triangle. That is A, 
with the one. So let's find the A. If there is a, a triangle, is that what I said? K, oh, K triangle. K triangle. I almost screwed that up. K. Okay, K triangle. That's fine. What is K triangle? Is okay. A is the bar. Yeah. I just messed myself up there. Okay. A is the one right there. Okay. But what was A? So I can see to do the next one. This is kind of confusing. Um, kind of a snake looking zero with the V. Snake looking zero with the V. Won't make much sense to you guys, but that's the symbol I was talking about. That symbol with the V and that one. Okay. Okay, snake looking symbol with the V. Okay. Turn those on there next. Is the upside down Y goes to the V. Upside down Y. Right there. Upside down Y goes to the V. No, that is a backwards three goes to the one. Backwards three goes to the one. Backwards three, where are you right there? That goes to the one, but that one, okay. Right side Y is a triangle. Right side Y is a triangle. Right there? Is it, it's already on triangle. That's easy. What was that one? U goes to the square. U. U goes to the square. U goes to the square, but that one, I goes with I. So U goes to the square. Then we gotta find the I. I goes to the L or the I right there. I to I. What else? B goes to the five sided. B, 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 right there. B goes to the five sided. So that is down. Ooh, that was tough. Come on. Jeez. Okay, B goes to the five-sided. Zero goes to the triangle. Zero goes to the triangle. Is that it? Zero goes to the, I think that's it. Okay, well, what do we do now? <laughs> that still turns. There's things shaking inside. Um, bum, bum, bum. No, that still doesn't come up. That doesn't turn any, anything. Um, does that pull down? No. Uh, what about? Oh! That one. Okay. Did they all do that? No, that one doesn't. What about this one? Oh, that one does. Making progress. Where's that one? Oh, let's try this one. That one definitely. That one was easy. Wow. Okay. We got three out of four. Three out of four. Sure, this one doesn't go. Cause the rest of them did. Why wouldn't this one? Nope. Is it stuck? 
Hmm. Maybe not. But the rest of them win. Hard to tell what's just sitting tight in the wood or if it's actually supposed to pop out and it's not. Is this supposed to slide and it's not? Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, it's hurting my hands though, I can tell you that much. Mm. I do not know. Hmm. Well, are these locked in place now? They sure are. So maybe this combination is not right. Maybe it has to be like precisely on there. Hmm. Precisely. in this. It's, it's almost like it's supposed to open up. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's killing my hand. Puzzles, you're not supposed to use force on them, so I don't really want to do that. But as you can see, this one went kunk, this one went kunk, that one went dunk. So either this code is wrong, which is possible, Clearly, but why would the rest of them be right and this one's wrong randomly? Which doesn't seem very likely. Uh, what do we got? We got the ups, the three, the S, and like the upside down Q. None of which are visible now, which is awesome. We probably should have wrote those down. This guy popped out, it looks like, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just heard something pop in. Oh, that one popped out. Whoa. Huh. I don't believe that this one doesn't go. I don't believe it. Two, three popped out. This one didn't. So maybe we just move this guy to some other positions. Clearly, I got this weird S backwards. I had it on the five-sided. It was clearly supposed to be on the square. Tried a couple different combinations between that, just moving some stuff around, and that worked. So, now, all four of these are popped. And now what? <laughs> that still turns. Maybe that's all I needed to do. Oh, I see some movement in this. Ah! Winner, winner. Just look at that, though, for a second. Just look at that. Isn't that crazy? That is really cool. Now, inside, 
you could fit lots of stuff inside of there. That is awesome. These things are spring loaded, by the way. Ding, ding. Um, and it, when you slide these over, these pop up and release that lid. All four need to be released um, for it to work. These are locked in place and cannot be moved unless it appears at least um, until these are depressed. So the lid goes on, those four get closed. Then you can lock those into place. Um, but the thing I don't understand is why this spins. Why, why have it spin? What's the purpose of it? Now there is a turny thing in there. Ah, this one spins too and not at the same time as the other. So maybe you spin these in like opposite directions. I've seen other puzzles like that. That didn't do anything. Let's move that one. Let's try that. Oh, it's a false bottom. I just felt it give out. Yep, it's definitely a false bottom. Sorry, I'm lifting it up high so you can't even see in the frame. But for certain, this comes out. tricky when it comes out is a whole other thing. But, and there it is. That is pretty cool, I gotta say. Let's see if this is coming out. I'm sure it does. Let's see if I can actually get it to come out before this move or this video is 30 minutes long and, and there we have it false bottom so that latches on to that mechanism in there if you can see that is so smart so you get two separate parts in this puzzle i'm actually going to pick up the camera so that you can see it see inside if it didn't work very well that turns let's see if I can that turns that is so cool as does that and it latches into that right there with that turning that is cool what a neat puzzle hundred times cooler because I built it myself which makes it 10 times cooler, for me at least. Hope you enjoyed. Now to put this thing back together. You aren't finished with the puzzle until it is fully returned to its normal state. Thank you. Like, subscribe. Have a good day.